Hello everyone. It's me, Infinite Designer. This is the part 19 of our series where I will teach you the entire Alight Motion app from zero to infinity. So, let's begin. Today, we are going to learn about text effects. So for our first effect, I have this digit here. Our first effect is count up and down. Here you will get two options, add and multiply. Now if I set the add value at 20, the 20 will be added in 10 and it will become 30. So whatever amount you enter in add value, it will be added in the initial value. You can make this type of animation by adding keyframe in add options. You can multiply the initial amount by increasing multiply value. Next effect is called text process. Here, if you increase the start value to 100, and then animate it to zero, then the text will be appeared from backward like this. If you increase the end value, then the text will be appeared from the start. Then you have a cursor option. Here you can set any type of cursor like this. Now if you enable blink cursor option, the your cursor will be blinked continuously like this. Another effect is called text randomizer. Here you got options like Amount, Evolution and Seed. By using these options, you can convert your text into a random code like this.
Now, if you increase the start value from 2000 to 100, then your text will be decoded from the starting point of your text. If you decrease the end value from 100 to 2000, then the text will be decoded from the ending point of your text. By character set option, you can convert your text into different types of code structures like this. Next effect is text spacing. Here you can adjust the spacing between letters and the lines of your text. Next effect is Text Transform. So we have already covered this effect in this video. You can check out this video to learn the Text Transform effect completely. Our last effect is Timecode. Here you get two options, Relative and Frames. If I enable the Relative option, then the timer will run as a normal timer. The millisecond is going up to 100 and then the second is changing. Now, if I enable frames option, then the millisecond is going up to the frames per second of the project. Here my project is at 30 FPS, therefore the millisecond is going up to 30 and then the second is changing. The timer will run according to the length of the text layer like this. So these are all the effects in text effects in a light motion.